I've just realized that obviously again I'll misspell one property here rather than widows it should be with for wrapper uh, and images so if we change this and save it obviously if, I'm assuming you haven't made this mistake it was just myself here while typing so now we're going to uh, close our core.css open JS folder open our core.js and we're going to start with a dollar sign uh, bracket and after the closing bracket we're gonna put semicolon at the beginning we're gonna put function and then we put curly braces inside of this function we're going to start with images uh, and then we're gonna apply sortable method so I should put actually a single quote here as well and inside of the sing, uh, sortable method, we're going to put curly braces, semicolon right at the end. Uh, sortable, by the way, is part of the uh, jQuery UI uh, package. So obviously, now that we've got, uh, we've got the package included, we've got this jQuery uh, UI 1.8.14 custom mean included on our page. Obviously, uh, we can use this method. So uh, we're going to start with the first parameter, which is start. And for start, we're going to execute the function, two parameters, event and UI. Inside of this uh, function, we use UI item, which is currently drag uh, item, which we currently drag in actually, add class, and we want to add our active class. So this is uh, what's going to happen when we're gonna click and drag item, this class will be applied to this element. Then we have comma. Next parameter will be stop. What's going to happen when we're gonna when the event will stop? Function when we drop the drop the the image. Then again event and UI, and we have UI item remove class active. So first of all we're going to remove active class. Then we're going to do effect, and this effect which we're going to be using will be highlight. And then for the effect, we need to provide a second parameter, which will simply be a color in this case. And the color I want to use for the highlight will be, we need to include it within the quotes, a zero, 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 which is black. Then the length of this uh, effect, which I want to last for 1000 milliseconds. Then we have function right after this. Just to make it a little bit clearer, I'm going to put these parameters for the effect here. This function, Kelly Brace, and obviously we're going to close it. Um, I'm going to put it this way, indent it so that everything's clear and tidy. And this one will go here. This one will be here. Okay. So now function is a callback. And this callback function, we will uh, within this callback function, we will uh, execute each loop, and we use images li, so all of the the li elements, and the function, which will be index and event. And what we're going to do? I'm going to close this browser on the left. Uh, this children and we're looking at uh, for the span HTML then parse int integer index and 10 so that we actually using this index uh, number so because because index here returned index is the position of the of of the, the specific element through which we are currently looping index and parse integer simply converts all this to the to the integer because we're going to be adding here one to this integer so uh, we filling up the span with the new uh, number which will basically be, be the position new position of the of the element so that's what we do here and right at the end after our sortable after calling our sortable method we scroll up we're going to use images disable selection 
method, which is also part of the UI suit. And it simply ensures that if there's any text we drag in, it's not going to be selected by our cursor. So it's always helpful to have it. Okay, let me just check if I haven't made any errors here, any mistakes. Um, okay, we have effect, we have effect which is uh, finishing here. Okay, this belongs to that. Yeah, seems fine. So if we save the file, go back to our browser, refresh. Now try drag and drop. You can see this highlight was for a second uh, there from the blue, which is active because I'm dragging. Once I'm releasing the mouse, it should go to black and straight to white, the highlights. And there we go. That seems to be working. If we drag an image from a button to the top as well, it also seems to be working. Numbers also updated once I've dropped the image. So that seems to be working fine. That's everything in this video. Um, thank you for watching. Any comments, obviously you know where to post them.